hey loves and welcome back to my channel it is ijoma here so in today's video we are going to make this short ankara gown with an asymmetric peplum though the peplum is a straight peplum so i'll show you guys the cutting and the sewing of this you can see the back i am not done fixing the zip i'm still fitting it so this is what it looks like at the back and this is the front so i used i used 3.5 yards of ankara and one yard of doll face to achieve this style though if you want the sleeve to be bigger you have to increase the yardage so this is the skirt part i'm not sure you guys the drafting of the skirt this is the skirt part and it is a short skirt we all many of us know how to cut this so i just went straight to the point i have my front but i have my front part and the back part so i will use a yellow doll face to make the left the right peplum sorry so this is for the upper part that is the main bodies i used a princess that for the main bodies i've also cut my pad so this is the center front it has a dv neck and these are the sides i also cut out my lining for all of them so i did the same thing to the back as well the back part is a v it has a v neckline sorry so if you want your v neckline to be deeper than this fine if you want to make the back part a high neck fine so this is what i have and it has a princess that also so i cut my lining for the back parts as well so after that i'll go ahead and join the upper part i'll turn with a lining and i'll also turn the down part that i'll show you guys so here is the bodies i am done turning everything like i told you guys i will not show you how to sew this because i've made a lot of princess that videos on this channel so this is what i have now i will go ahead and trim my half length so after trimming my half length i will join the upper part and the lower part together so after joining you can go ahead and add your sleeve before cutting the peplum or before adding the peplum so here is the skirt part this is what i have i'll trim the half length a bit i'll trim off the rough parts of the half length a bit so after that i will go ahead and join the upper part and the lower part together before cutting the peplum because i will have to measure the peplum before cutting it out so this is what i have so i'll also go ahead and show you guys my sleeve this is my sleeve i cut out a puffy sleeve for this if you want your sleeve to be fuller or if you want it to be a fitted sleeve you can as well do that so i am trimming off the excess lining that i have for the sleeve then i'll go ahead and insert my elastic and then fix it so i'm done fixing my sleeve so right now we'll go ahead and draft how we want that peplum to be so this peplum will be at the left hand side like it will be facing the left hand side i don't know if you understand what i mean by that so this is the doll face i have my one of doll face and i still have some ankara remaining so the doll face will be the bigger part of this peplum so i will start from the left side though i marked this on the right i realized after marking but i transferred it to the left later so you can see how i marked that line it crossed my half length that's why i said you will have to join the upper part and the lower part before marking that so you continue from the side and down to the hip line close very close to the zipper allowance that is where it will stop but then you start there and mark the other side of the peplum you can see what i have let me start from the front so from here you will mark a v shape you can see the way i'm marking it so i'll go up a bit but this time around this one will not reach the half length remember the bigger one crossed the half length but this second one will not cross the half length so this is the shape it will have after marking you can see that one part of the v is bigger than the other 
Yo, I told you guys that I realized that I marked this on the left side. So, on the right side, but I later transferred this. So, I'll go ahead and measure from the center of the V to the back part. And for the bigger peplum, I have 30... I have that one inches, sorry. I have that one inches, but I'll still go ahead and add one inch to it for seam allowance. Then, from there, I'll also measure the smaller peplum and that one i have for that one i have 15 inches so i'll still add one inch for seam allowance i don't know if you get so here is the doll face i will open it up you can see it is open you will not have to fold then remember we measured that one inches for the bigger part that is for the doll face part so i'll go ahead and measure 31 plus one inch that is 32 so this is my where my 32 stopped at i will go ahead and mark that area where that 32 stopped at then i want this peplum to be 12 10 11 inches long plus one inch for seam allowance that is 12. so this time around it is 32 inches long and 12 inches and 11 inches wide that is plus allowance then you will slant you can see the way i am slanting that part you will not cut it straight you will slant it a bit like a triangle you can see how it looks then i will go ahead and cut out you will measure the length of the peplum and then from that point where the length stopped you will slant it a bit you can see how i slanted mine if you want your slant to be bigger than that better so i will go ahead and cut out a lining for this doll face and i will add a hard gum to both the doll face and the lining you can see that one part of this peplum is pointy so for the ankara parts i will also do the same thing for the ankara part i measured 15 inches right plus one inch seam allowance you will have 16 it depends on what you measured after marking that triangle so I'll go ahead and mark 16 and after marking that 16 I will go ahead and slant it from that area as well then the length will still remain 12 inches that is 11 plus 1 inch seam allowance you can see how I slanted it then I'll go ahead and cut out and if you are cutting all this please make sure that you are marking it on the wrong side so that when joining you will not be confused and make sure that everything is facing the left because i made the mistake so please avoid it so right now this is what i have i'll go ahead and cut out a lining for this and i'll add a hard interface so i am trying to check if everything is at the left side and it is correct so right now i'll cut out the lining and i'll add a hard gum or hard interface to both the lining and the fabric so this is what i have here i've added my hard interface so i'll I'll close this slanted part i'll close it down and this and the other side that is the side that will be at the back then for this one i'll close the slanted parts i'll close the down part and the other side that will face the zipper allowance but you will leave the upper part open because you will turn out this peplum from the upper part so after joining i will go ahead and turn them out and iron so i am done ironing all of them and right now i'll open up my fabric so i told you guys that i made a mistake i marked this on the right but i transferred it to the left later so i you go ahead and fix my peplum so i went ahead and remarked this v that i marked initially and the length still remained 31 inches and 15 inches respectively so right now i'll go ahead and adjust this v that i marked initially so you can see i am remarking the v shape and if you are marking the bigger part remember that it will cross the half length you can see it will cross your half length and go up by like by like three inches or two inches so right now i'll go ahead and fix that bigger peplum around that v part you go ahead and sew and then continue from the back 
so this is how you place it and you go ahead and run a stitch on it so after joining for the bigger parts you also repeat the same thing for the ankara part that is the smaller part then after that you fix your zipper and then you iron if there's any adjustment maybe after fitting you can do your adjustment so at the end of the day this is what i have it is so beautiful so guys our registration for the july online classes is still ongoing we have the corset the blazer the jumpsuit and trouser and Igbo blouse class so feel free to register i am still accepting payments and guys please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and click on notification bell so that anytime i upload a new video you'll be notified please do not forget to subscribe and see you in my next video bye